The Deer Farming Channel is brought to you by Rafter P Construction. Stick around to learn more about Rafter P's design build process and of course, the biggest deer in the world. Well howdy everybody, my name is Keith Warren and this week Deer Wildlife Stories is in Indiana. We'll visit three different deer farms and we'll tell you about the party we have going on here. So it's the first week of August, I'm back up in Indiana and this will be the third year in a row. This time I'm hitting three deer farms and then we're going to have a party at the IDEFA event. We're going to start off at Springfield Whitetails just outside of Grable, Indiana. There's a lot of Amish around here, you know, Lester's Amish, Eddie Ray is Amish over at Pine Creek Deer Farm. A lot of Amish deer farmers, and the reason why is deer farming is uh, it's a way of life. And uh, it fits the Amish lifestyle perfectly. Uh, it fits anybody's lifestyle that wants to get off the grid and really make some, uh, make some good memories with the family and also make a living on a small piece of property in rural America. All right, so we're gonna start out right here at Springfield Whitetails. This is Jade Webster. Jade is all the way up here from Texas and he's brought his boys. That's how big of a deal it is uh, to come to Indiana. Anyway, we're at Springfield Whitetails and we're fixing to show you some unbelievable yearling bucks. And take a look at these guys. I mean, they're, I'm telling you, compared to last year, I mean, across the board, they're all better. Very impressed. I mean, and there's one over there right there. That guy right there, look how wide he is. Yep. Okay, that deer right there, Lester told me he's at a blackjack. Okay. Yeah. I mean, and so the, the cool thing that I that I'm enjoying seeing is that people up north are starting to breed with semen from deer down south. Okay. And it's great to see people from down south supporting like you did coming up here to Lidefa event uh, last year. Okay. And 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 so with that being said, I don't know if you've seen it or not, but there's a one year old right over there. That guy kind of looked familiar. Look at the frame on that guy. I mean, the way he's stacked. You know, who he's out of. That's the major league yearling. I'm blown away. Yeah. I, I am blown away and I'm super excited. I'm thankful that Lester bred him to such an amazing female. It's, uh, he told me that pedigree. Major yeah. league over the Fed's mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and now, now the Fed is a giant. He's legendary up north. And, and, and I'll tell you something, I mean, he is throwing big time. But uh, when you take a look at that, the, the, again, the cool thing is that the semen from legendary bucks like major league down in the south is being used up in the north on these prime doughs. I mean, they're really good doughs. Now, you don't wanna just put it in any dough. You wanna put it in the best dough. And just look at that right there. That's unbelievable. So, do you know, what is his name? They named him the League, and I think that's a great name. You doggone right, because he is in a league all of his own. I mean, look at that. I know. What a deer. Now, as far, are you a partner on that deer or anything? I am not a partner currently. I just saw him today, and uh, Lester and I are probably gonna have to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Folks, uh, okay, this is the first week of August, okay? And the IDFA event is going on here, and, uh, and we'll show you some of that on the show, but this is the time of year that breeders come visit different breeders, and they take a look at the genetics and the deer that are they're being pushed out and making deals, and so, that deer right there is one that I know you're going to be serious about. He, he's a game changer. But but take a look at some of these other yearlings in here. I mean, they got some really good genetics in here. Very good. I mean, folks, if y'all want more information on Springfield Whitetails, now you may be wondering why isn't Lester Iker on here? Okay, the reason why is he's Amish. Okay, Amish people do not be on camera. Okay, but his deer don't mind being on camera. No, nope, <laughs> for sure. And so that blackjack yearling I talked about earlier, they're calling him the Ace. I mean, just check him out. He's so wide and pretty. And, and, I, and I keep saying on television, it's like, and, and people say, what is the number one piece of advice that you would give a breeder? I'd say quality over quantity any day. 100%. I mean, take the, the, the best semen that you can afford, put it in the best dough that you can afford, and you're gonna get deer like that. 100% agree. I mean, it, it just a quality over quantity any day. So these are some impressive one-year-olds. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna jump over to another pen, show you some more one-year-olds and we're gonna show you a buck called The Heat. I think you're gonna like him. Now it's time for viewer feedback. This comes off Facebook Messenger from a fellow by the name of Fred. He says, why are there so many hunting preserves popping up in Indiana? And why is it that deer on hunting preserves are so big? Oh, Fred, the reason that hunting preserves are popping up in Indiana at an unbelievable rate is that people love to hunt big deer, okay? In Indiana, although they do have some big deer, the biggest deer in hunting preserves, the reason why is because they've shot most of the great genetics out in the wild. But hunting preserves have got those great genetics, and where do they get them from? From deer farmers. And it's for that reason that uh, hunting preserves are popping up, 
and it's that reason that deer farms exist. If you've got a question for me, you can head on over to our Facebook page or you can just shoot me an email. Deer and Wildlife Stories, we'll be right back. So one of the legendary deer that Lester has is named the Fed, and take a look at why. I mean, the genetics that the Fed has is incredible. That's 40 and a half pounds of antlers that were cut off about a week and a half ago. Lester just sold half interest in the Fed to a fellow by the name of Jeff Berryhue, and the reason why is because of genetics. All right, so there's three bucks in here we want to point out to you. One is the Joker. Okay, take a look at him. He's a yearling. He is a blackjack on the Heat's Dam. Okay, now that's important to think about, the Heat's Dam. We're gonna show you the Heat in a minute. And it's the production of what we're trying to point out here. Okay, now the next buck we wanna point out is Cash Reserve. He is a three-year-old out of FedEx's and Free Agent's sister. Now, when you take a look at the pedigree, uh, you know, we wanna put pedigree on the screen on all these deer. So you can just see how deep these pedigrees are. And there's a four-year-old in here. His name is on track. All right, so take a look at the pedigree on him and you can see how wide and deep it is. So what do you think? I love them. Look how calm they are. I mean, you know, that's the thing about the Amish deer farms. I mean, when you, when you take a look at it, there's not any uh, motorized buggies going around there and all that. I mean, they spend a lot of time with the deer. You can tell the deer, uh, I mean, they're calm and they're healthy, every single one of them. I mean, they, they look very, very healthy. Now what we're gonna do, we talked about breeding and we talked about the, the dam side. We wanna show you the heat now because that one buck right there is out of the heat's mom. What do you see the heat? Lester's farm is kind of a destination for deer farmers from all over the country. They, uh, last year, the IDFA party picnic was held here and there were 500 people. Okay, we were all here. And so this year, uh, what we've got, we've got, uh, I mean, we show up here to film and all of a sudden it's like, are we at the wrong place? I mean, where's the party? Well, the party may be over at Camelot Ridge and we'll show you that in a little bit, but everybody had to stop at Springfield Whitetails to take a look at what Lester's got because they've heard about Lester's deer this year. So before we show you the heat, we want you to take a look at some of these other yearlings in this pen. There's something that every one of them has got in common and that uh, their sire is the fed, okay? And we talk about pedigree and consistency and performance on these deer. And uh, pedigree and genetics, it's everything. And deer breeders use the North American Deer Registry really to, to imagine, if you will, whatever you, what you can build genetically. And so we want to point out that the Fed's mom, she, that's really important, that the Fed's mom had a twin womb sister, okay? And so those genetics, I'm going to show you what the heat looks like right now. What do you think? I'm blown away. And so, I mean, clearly, I mean, the, those does, those anchor does, when you take a look at the pedigrees, those anchor does, I mean, from there, that, that's what the production's from. And that's what they do here at Springfield Whitetails. I mean, it is, uh, it is, it is clear, it's genetics, genetics, genetics. I mean, I have people all the time say, that ain't right, how did a deer get that, that big? It must be jacked up on drugs. No, 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 it's jacked up on genetics. I mean, so when you take a look at the heat, again, the heat's mom, her womb sister, is the feds mom, okay? And so, is it any wonder that deer is what he is? I mean, he's absolutely beautiful. I'm blown away with the production that feds mom and a womb sister has on Lester's farm. I'm really blown oh, away. Oh, when you, she is when, a super I mean, doe. He, I mean, and that is a two-year-old buck, but then you look at these other one-year-olds, there are no slouches in here. They're all good yearlings. Okay, and the reason why is because of genetics, and it all goes back to that line. All right, so we talk about production on the heat, okay, and that genetic line. We want to also point out that uh, uh, proving genetics is really important. You know that. Every, every deer breeder knows that. Well, to prove the genetics on that, the line that uh, the heat's mom comes from, she's also the mother to a deer that we filmed here three years ago named The Rock. Now, take a look at this buck, The Rock, at a yearling. So tell me that line doesn't work with the genetics. Lester, he's really done a great job and I mean, just, I mean, just focusing on that line and breeding it and breeding it and then putting major league in them and putting blackjack in and I mean, bringing some of the stellar bucks in from the south up here and clearly it's working big time. And if y'all want more information to contact Lester, we'll have his telephone number right here at Springfield Whitetails. So after the break, we're heading to Pine Creek Deer Farm and you're not gonna wanna miss it. All right, so we're at Pine Creek Deer Farm here, and uh, this is owned by Eddie Ray Burkholder. Anybody in the deer farming business knows who Eddie Ray is, and we're gonna show you some two-year-olds now that are gonna blow your mind. 
Now there's five bucks in this pen that we're going to pick out. We're going to tell you about them. And we're going to start with that one right there. All right, that one is blue 891. And would you take a look at that deer? And as pretty as he is, you ought to take a look at his pedigree. And that's what makes that deer special. The deer that we're going to feature not just in this pen today, but also other pens at Eddie Ray's place have all got equally as good paper. So just take a look at the pedigree on that deer. All right, goodness. And as you look at them, they're, they're so pretty typical. And that's one thing that Eddie and this deer farm is known for, breeding typical deer. All right, that deer right there, he is blue 885 and he's had a Storm Express. Look at that. And you're gonna notice that every one of the deer that's out here we're all born here, okay? These deer, they didn't bring one deer in. These were all born here. All right, let's take a look at that one right there in his blue. Blue 895. And as you look at his pedigree, you're gonna see a, you're gonna see something at the top. 2028. 2028 is a heck of a deer in the industry. Anybody knows anything, knows 2028, throws big, but when you put him on one of Eddie Ray's girls, oh, look at that. All right, so, oh my goodness, let's pick out him. Blue 856, and that right there is not a two-year-old. That right there is a three-year-old, and his name is Third Shift. Look at him. Holy smokes. What do you think, folks? And his pedigree is strong, too. And the last buck we're going to show you in here is named 212, and his number is Blue 899. You may be wondering, why 212? 212 is boiling, man. He's hot. Look at that buck there. Okay, it is time to move on now. These are some nice ones. We're going to show you some more deer at Pine Creek. Come on. All right, so this is a pen of one-year-olds, and there is a bomb in there. It's blue 919. He is unbelievable. He's uh, actually, when you look at his pedigree, he's horsepower over a Patrick Doe, uh, which is basically the entire program here at Pine Creek was built off the Patrick line. So when you, you, anybody in the deer farming industry that's been around has heard of the Patrick line. I was saying the other day that Patrick line is one of the most famous influential lines there is ever in the deer farming industry. And you can just take a look at that buck right there as a yearling, he is incredible. He's got the look that I think any breeder would be happy with. And then there's another one in there. It's blue 926 and take a look at him and his pedigree i'm mean, just like all these pedigrees they're just stout that's blackjack storm express over express and blackjack uh, and anybody in the deer industry has heard of blackjack and blackjack now there's so many good offspring on the ground that uh, blackjack semen has gone through the roof and blackjack is a proven thrower and and you know people ask me all the time will those strong deer in the south work and cross well with the deer in the north that deer right there is proof of it. Blue 917 is horsepower over Unforgiven over Express. It's no wonder he looks like that. That is an incredible deer right there. All right, so we've shown you some beautiful two-year-olds along with one three-year-old so far and some incredible one-year-olds that the paper on all these deer is off the charts. Now we're gonna show you a three-year-old and it may be the prettiest typical three-year-old I have ever seen in the North. So what do you think? 6.5 PRC is his name, just like a rifle. He is unbelievable. Is he not one of the prettiest bucks you've ever seen, regardless of wherever? It doesn't make any difference. The south, the north, that is what a deer, in my opinion, is supposed to look like. Now, you may be wondering, what is his pedigree? Well, we'll show you. He's a Storm Express son over a daughter out of Storm Express's mother. Now, I know that may sound kind of confusing, but when you take a look at the paper, you'll see that's why he looks the way he does. Now what we're gonna do is head on over and show you an old buck, a really old buck that's a legend in the deer industry, and he's right here at Pine Creek Deer Farm. All right, so this is the old man on the deer farm, that Storm Express right there. He is a 10-year-old buck, and if you take a look at his pedigree, it is strong, but the interesting thing that I like to look at is take a look at the number of offspring. As of uh, this filming right here, it's 236. And that's what's in the registry. And we know that there's at least twice that many that are not in the registry. But uh, Storm Express is a legend in the deer farming industry. And you can see why. Even at 10 years old, look how pretty clean typical he is. So I want to point out that if you take a look at Storm Express's mother, she has 
Patrick 110, 111, and 112, all in her line. And you may be wondering the importance of that. We'll ask anybody in the deer farming industry. The Patrick line produces, period. And if you want more information on Pine Creek Deer Farm, you can call Eddie Ray Burkholder at 574-546-0652, or you can call Josie at 574-248-2675. Coming up after the break, we're heading on down the road to Camelot Ridge Whitetails, and then we're gonna have an Indiana Deer and Elk Farmers party. All right, so right now, we're just outside of Avila, Indiana. This is my buddy, Doug McComb, and, and we are at his place. It's called Camelot Ridge Resort, and this is a beautiful place. And later on in the show, we're gonna, we're, there's gonna be a party, a picnic. That Amen. You're on. And, uh, and what brings everybody together here is the white-tailed deer. And take a look at some of these deer. How old are these guys? They're anywhere from two years old to five, Yeah. right here in these pens. And these are the select few. Right now is the first week of August, okay, and these deer, uh, they've actually got quite a bit of growing left to do when you take a look at them, but boy, I, I like that guy right there. And oh, yeah. Look at him over there. He, nice. That's a good looking deer right there. Definitely, very look, symmetrical. You know, Doug's house is up on the hill right here, and, uh, and, and these pens are not real big, but the deer, they spend a lot of time with these deer, and you can tell. Yes. Now, there are some younger guys in here, too, and I, th those guys got to be yearlings over there, right? Correct. Correct. Yeah. They are indeed yearlings. I encourage people always to go with quality over quantity any day, and you're going to be happy with that. Uh, at this party coming up here in a little bit, every one of the deer breeders will tell you the exact same thing too. Buy the best genetics that you can afford, period, and start from there. All right, Doug, if somebody wants more information about coming out here to Camelot Ridge Resort, give them a phone number. 260-450-7353. That's my personal number. I feel any phone calls. Not only does Doug have a beautiful farm here, but uh, he's got a beautiful hunting preserve as well. And so uh, the genetics are in there big time. He's got some giant deer. So if you're interested in any of that, you can go ahead and get a hold of Doug. But right now we're gonna get ready because there's a party that's gonna start. But we don't Amen. wanna be late right. for it. Yes, sir, <laughs> we don't wanna be late for it. You know, you take a look around the people that are at this party, uh, it's, uh, it's made up of all different kinds of people. You know, I was here last year and there were Four to five hundred people here last year. Well, this year it's even bigger than that. You know, last year the only guy from Texas that showed up besides me was uh, Jade Webster over at MVP Whitetails, and Jade and I had a good time. But uh, word got out, and this year there's like I think seven or eight different breeders from Texas came up to the Indiana market, and there's a reason why. Because the deer are big, really big. I think I've got the greatest job in the world to be able to uh, have as many friends as I do. And the white-tailed deer has brought me close to so many people that I wouldn't have known otherwise. This party, for example, I, I think, how cool is this? Most of the people are Amish, okay? And the uh, Amish people are quiet. They're very respectful. They're hardworking. They're really good Americans. And uh, I love the Amish. They're the kind of people that when they uh, tell you they're gonna do something, they do it. And I think what I did to deserve this is I stood up for them. I said, you know what, the Amish people are dang good people and that uh, they're growing some really, really big deer. And my job is promoting deer farming everywhere, including Indiana. Okay, so you've got property and you're wanting to build. Maybe a barn dominium, maybe deer facilities, or maybe a badass lodge. Well, you've got to check out Rafter P Construction. Rafter P Construction is the leading design build contractor across the state of Texas. Specializing in quality farm and ranch design build projects, Rafter P Construction encourages their customers to be very hands on, incorporating your input into every aspect of your project with their in house design teams. The goal of Rafter P Construction is to be your builder for life. Rafter P Construction. They'll be with you every step of the way to build your dream project. All the while, keeping quality and customer satisfaction at the forefront. 